out here exploring this historical site at Shell Mound in the Lower Suwannee National Wildlife Refuge. And it's a really beautiful place. There's an ancient Native American Indian mound here known as Shell Mound. Very old. And it was in use for many generations. Built up over a long period of time. Oyster shells. You can see them all throughout the area. Let's take a look at the mound formation and take a walk around this area. It's really nice. A portal into another world. Shell Mound was a Native American village for about 250 years, from about 400 to 650 AD. It was also a place of ritual gathering for people living elsewhere. People came to Shell Mound to honor ancestors buried in a nearby cemetery. You can see the mound formation here. All these shells where it's been built up and it was much taller at one time. Much of this site has been dug out over the years. It's protected today. layers of shells here. Ancestral Tides. You have arrived at the apex of Shell Mound, which commands a view of the surrounding terrain. The closest landmass to the west in the direction you are facing is Hog Island, location of a now destroyed cemetery known as Palmetto Mound. The position of the cemetery at the end of the dune arm is consistent with the practice of emplacing the deceased with the setting winter solstice sun. Really interesting. You can see a diagram here. A timeline of the burials and events at the site. Very long. 
long time ago. About changed over the generations. The time utilized for various purposes, different people visiting the mountains like we are today. Still all these years later people coming out to this area. It just draws us here. view from the spot is a reminder that Shell Mound is only one archaeological site in a constellation of many nearby sites. Interesting, you can see here on the diagram other mound formations. This is a nice area for fishing, and they just built a new pier here. That's waterway. The previous one was destroyed by storms. It's really nice to see this one here. Built again. People want to come out here, enjoy this beautiful area, take a look around. People up there fishing, some folks out in kayaks in the water enjoying the beautiful day. And here's a glimpse into the pier at the Lower Swanee National Wildlife Refuge at Shell Mound. It's incredible. Looking over here, you can see Shell Mound right here on the edge of the water. Trees are covering up most of the mound. I can imagine in the distant past how cozy this mound must have been. You can see it for miles. Coming in from the water, different directions.
ancient people. Shellfish were utilized by ancient people since they arrived here about 14,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. Shellfish were important for food, tools, and ritual. It's interesting information on these shells. There are lots of these at a nearby shell mound. <laughs> 